Hello everybody, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is the stuff I'm recording while I'm at Comic-Con, so this is all pre-recorded. If you leave a comment, I won't know about it! I don't know, I won't be able to get any hints or anything. But anyway, I was gonna do a Cry of Fear custom story, but I'm running out of time and it kept crashing on me, so I couldn't get to work, so I'm just running through this. All right, this is The Attic, chapter one, and I have chapter two lined up. By Seth1466 and Jetliner X. Derek lives with his mother, his father, is said to still be serving the country, making some sort of medicine that can heal a human being via drinking some sort of substance. Derek has never been allowed past the second floor, where his bedroom is. His father's workshop takes up everything from the third, third floor and the attic. <gasps> the story begins with Derek reminiscing about his past, when him and his father used to sit on the deck outside of his bedroom as a young child. Derek realizes now that he is almost ready to make a family and move into his own mansion because everyone moves into their own mansion when they grow up. He should find out what is going on and why his dad has been missing for 16 years. What? And why his mother has never said anything. Huh? The player, you, begins the story when Derek comes to this realization. What? He wakes up one day and like, where's my daddy? And must continue through the adventure, revealing secrets of your family's dark past that will forever tear him apart. So long as nothing tears him apart first. <laughs> Why can't anyone proofread? It's a simple paragraph. Anyway, I'm gonna go crazy if I, I'm gonna go crazy. Let's just get into it. Let's just go. Let's just go. It was highly rated. Let's just go. I <laughs> can't anyone proofread. Please. There we are. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Hello. Father and I used to sit out here when mother was tending to the guests. I was only two. So all the things that were going on are a fading memory. Sorry, all the things that were going on, pause, are a fading memory, pause. But I remember him saying one day, Derek, one day you will want to find out everything. You're already adventurous. But no, some things should remain, just remain in the dark. Because I was only two, my response was a mix of gargling, mumbles that no one understood. My father looked down at me and finished with, Good boy, I know you understand. And somehow he remembers exactly what he said word for word. Oh, uh, whatever, whatever. Just scare me. Scare me if you can. Are you in your mansion now? How'd you get in here if there's going to be diabolical monsters popping out everywhere? I know how to play a game. Just put a chair in my hand and let's be done with it. Get out of the way! I don't- What? What? Hey! Ch uh, what? What? Uh, fine. Whatever. I don't need it anyway. It's so tough on my own. Tinder? Box? Aha! I knew it. Nope. Sixteen years have passed. I've never formally met my father. You talked to him when you were two! Oh, the only time I knew him was when I was two. My father has not been seen for sixteen years. Mother started drinking pretty heavily five years ago. 11 years after the father left, so couldn't have been related. She always tells me that her that father wrote letters home. He is considered a scientist among some. You're either considered a scientist. Uh, never mind. He was called into the line of duty. <laughs> the scientist's line of duty to make chemical weapons for the war. Nobody has ever made a weapon without something going wrong. Let's just hope I see him in human form when he returns from the war. What other form would he be? Monster form? Probably. I gotta pick up a key to that door, really? I locked myself in. Whatever. Bring it on! Hello? Who's here? Bring it on! Oh, hello. The following trophy is awarded to Ellis Jackson for the pursuit of inventing... Laudanum. A cash reward of 100,000 shillings will be rewarded to Ellis E. Jackson, his wife, Libby R. Jackson, along with their son, son Derek S. Jackson, 
upon completion of the serum. Oh no! That sound! It came from the attic. Not the attic. Smash, mush, smash, wham, boom. Ooh, look at this, Sandy. And laudanum. This place is big. I gotta explore it before I go to the attic. Yep, yeah, seems perfectly normal. I totally know where the attic is. Hello? Hello? Where are all my maids? I'm some rich dude, right? Ooh, something in the distance over there. Huh. Come on, man. Where's all my workers? Hello? Ooh, hello. Oil? Do I have oil? I have oil. One of the rare times- Ooh, tinderbox! Rare times that they actually fill me up with oil before they set me on my way. What is this, the attic? Hang on. I wanna go downstairs first. If I can! Which I probably can, I don't know. I don't know! I don't know half of the things I'm doing. Hello. Damn it! Alright, fine. I knew it. Ah! Alright. To the- well, I start- no. okay. What? Oh, come on! Oh, there we go. Alright, there we are. Maybe I could have used the key on the other one. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Bring it. Ooh. Footsteps and hand steps? Hey, what the hell? Who's playing my piano? Everything in this house is mine. Ooh, lots of keys. Assistance from keys. It has come to my attention that a great leap forward in the technologies of medicine must be made. I have gathered information on herbs, blood, and everything else that uh, could ever- Oh, this is his father. That could ever be possible to heal a human being. Let it be known that I, Ellis Jackson, will not rest until this potion is made. So far, I have a working title of laudanum. But that will most likely change when this project is finally done. I will continue to document my findings, and eventually come up with the greatest invention of the 1800s. I will go down in history. Of course, everyone knows that laudanum is just an opiate, a uh, liquid suspended opiate that they used as a painkiller, and highly addictive back in um, those times. So it's not really a magical healing drug, it's just, it's just opium in liquid form. You take like a drop, you'd put drops on your tongue. If anyone seen, seen this show, Deadwood, you'd know that. All right, let's see if this key goes to that thing. Right chair. Right chair. Yep. There's someone there. There's someone there. Not scary. Not scary. Not scary. Anything in here? Whoop. Nope. Uh-uh. There's someone there. What the hell? Today is the big day. Wait, is this? Oh no, this is the assistant. Today is the big day. Ellis is letting me test the first version of the potion. He said it was totally stable and would not harm me. I am very excited to see if it will work, but scared because the only way to tell if it works is that I must be injured. So we plan to take the knife and cut a small gash in my arm, about two inches long, quarter inch deep. I know it will hurt. And I am really worried, because I'm a giant baby, but I have to trust in Ellis. Oh god, it's a two inch cut. My goodness. And he has been working on this for about six months, day and night. I bet this will work. Okay, it's nine o'clock. I need to get into the workshop. And now you're dead. Oh yeah, there's your skull. Hello! Oop, hello. Bam! Bwam! Bang! Yeah, got it. Lord, down numb. I'm just gonna slog this stuff down. Ugh! It's been five hours! I can't feel anything in my body! Ellis called me in to amputate my arm as it was immediate. It has immediately become infected and has lost all blood. <laughs> How does. I don't even know. <laughs> How does one arm lose all blood? We are going to replace it with a metal prosthetic until we can get a real one in. A real one in? God save me. At least my sacrifice was for science. A. A. Who writes A? Who's gonna read your freaking notes that you gotta go, good thing, eh? 
Ah! Ah! The old elbow bub. Whatever. And maybe I'm being a little too skeptical as I'm playing this custom story. I should get lost. I should get lost in the rich story. Hello! In the attic. How did I hear that all the way? Don't know how I heard that all the way from downstairs, but whatever. Hello! Anybody here? So brightly lit. Beautiful. Ooh, oil. Yep, oil. Hello. Tinderbox. Give me all of your shit. Give it. Take. It's all mine anyway. It's my mansion, right? I inherited it. Did it. Where's my mom? Did it say that she died? Oh. Yeah. Hello. Hi, Dad. Oops. Hello. Come here. You look a lot like this guy I know from this game. I bet I felt. Oh, wait. What's going to happen? I read it and then. The following recipe for laudanum, a working invention based in the United Kingdom. Description of the medicine. Laudanum is an herb organic based substance that is entered through the body via injection with a needle or ingesting the fluid by swallow it. Or it's opium. The medicine is designed for healing major and minor wounds. Or it's opium. Ingredients. Two quarts of human blood. Or opium. Crupanovine. Opium. One pint of acid. Of the damned! <laughs> oh, I thought that painting was going to change. I could have sworn it. Like, you could read the note. No. Oh, 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 no. Okay, fine then. Whoa, that, that almost... <laughs> Never mind. Nothing happened. I was not startled by a mannequin. I'm not startled by mannequin. Anakins do not scare me. Hello? Hello. What, what what kind of level design is this? What kind of house design is this? What 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 did you see that? How did who who did who did this? Who did this? They deserve to be flogged. This is the worst house I've ever been. Oh. I'm not even going to try to understand this. Is there anything in here? Hello? Hello? No. Nothing. Nothing for no one. Nothing for no one, nowhere, no how. Hello? Ooh, big room. This is, um... The, yeah, there's a stairwell. Hello? Uh oh What, what? It's plugged in! You douche nozzle. It's freaking plugged... Uh, whatever. It's in my phone was out of battery which I'm using for a timer but it's plugged in right now so I don't know what this deal is. Tender box! Mm. Anything? Hang on there was more. There was more to this level. I gotta, I gotta explore a bit. Hello? Hello? Damn it! Was that it? No this one. No that was it. Okay that was it. Up the stairs I go. Can't see the timer. Phone douche. Uh, yeah, it's all very lovely, yes. Alright. What's going on here? Hmm. Something's gonna happen. Hello? Uh oh. Your mistake giving me a chair! And this clearly obvious ambush. Oh. Pfft. Nothing here. Never mind then. Never mind. I panic for nothing. All right, moving along, moving along my way. Tender box. Who wants some? Who wants some? Broom. Son of a bitch. Hey, I guess that's, that's it. Oh, <gasps> dead body. I'm not gonna even like. Oh, what's this dead body doing here? This is so weird. I don't even know. Nope. Dad, what's going on? Why is there a dead guy? Nope. Ow, my face. All right. Oh. Oh. All right then. Oh, there's a head there. Okay. It looks like the model for Agrippa. All right. Actually, I'm gonna cut it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you 
in the next part. And a reminder, I can't see your comments at the moment. I won't be able to, I, this is all in one big playthrough, so I won't be able to take your hints for any things that I need to do. So, thanks again for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye!